start with a maintenance update for you. Um, we did a lot of uh, cleaning ditches and pipes in advance of what we thought was going to be a pretty significant hurricane event in this area, and thankfully that didn't occur. Um, we've also repaired a lot of damage from heavy rains, uh, completed an emergency slope repair that we had on Route 617 in Hayes Gap, and replaced two lines of pipe on Route 687. We're in the process of readying our equipment and contractor equipment for winter operations. Uh, responded to uh, many customer concerns, and we've also got some paving that's getting ready to start on 311 and should be approximately two weeks when they come in, and that will take it from the uh, pavement joint that we did last year all the way to the West Virginia line. And then there's a short, which will cover the, that uh, western portion of the tunnel. We've done a little patching there to get us by, but since we're having that, that major paving in there so quickly, um, we were a, a little reluctant to go in there and do too much when we've got that much going on. So um, uh, we've got a couple of construction projects. One is Route 638, the bridge replacement, which is on schedule. And um, we are in the process now of working on Route 607, which is one of your rural rustic projects that's in your six-year plan. Um, there is the fall transportation meeting that is scheduled for uh, the Stanton District. It's going to be held on October the 17th from 4 until 7 at Blue Ridge Community College. Uh, this is also going to incorporate a meeting for I-81 where we're getting some public comment back on issues and, and locations <coughs> that we'll be planning some future projects. So that's an opportunity for people to comment there. So um, do you all have any questions for me? Board members, have any questions? Are you going to get the uh, ends of the bridge in Salma with a sink? Just on the uh, west side. That's the both side ends of the bridge. Anything else, Richard? No. Any other board members have any comments, questions? Yeah. Um, she, answered, oh. she answered a couple of them already for um, Allegheny and then the tunnel. Um, uh, Big Ridge and Mr. Fridley, um, you may uh, get with him to get more information. He mentioned Big Ridge, Cove Creek, right, Mr. Fridley? Grading? Yeah. Grading. If you could, do you know how long it's been since they've graded up that way? Uh, this spring. Okay. Yep. When? Spring. Earlier this spring. I thought they church to Cold Creek. Yeah, it should, it should have been done. Uh, we usually do it at least once a year. I'll double check the driving. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. If we find out something different, Mr. Fridley, I'll, I'll get in touch with you if there's um, one soon, if there's anything different. Is that okay? Yes. Okay. Thank you. Um, Yes, Mr. Carter. We've had some rock slide off the high wall there the Honda, so please keep an eye on that. Um, and that was mostly from the rain. But also, before you open your email and see that I sent you a picture of a tree, it's the tree that's leaning over 687, right? They call it Deep Fort Hill, but it's into the second turn coming from Petticoat. You just had a crew out there yes. replacing the pipe. It's almost, it's ready to go. The tree is in the ditch, and it's, I guess it's gotten very soft because it's starting to lean more over the both lanes of traffic. And I, I neglected to mention that. I'm sorry. We had some trees that, that um, Scott's mentioned last month on 18, and we've gone through and limbed all of that, so okay. that we should be in good shape there. But um, we are planning to take that tree out. Okay, because it's so going to fall soon. It should be, I'm thinking, probably within the next week. Okay, good. I've had several people call and were worried about it. That's all I've got. I did have another thing. Yes, Scott. Um, White Gold Road, do you know if anyone, Steve hasn't contacted me again, so we I didn't know if had contacted him. Or? We replaced the phone. Okay, I, mean, I, heard, I heard a lot of noise a couple of times, and I was thinking maybe, but I didn't know where you was at on that. Okay, yeah. wonderful. We had the permit to do it, and I think they did it last week. That takes care of all of my issues. Uh, the only thing I've got is thanks for fixing the sunken Pipe there in Rich Pass. I know all the kids riding school bus appreciate it. But they don't put their heads on top of the bus when they go through there. 
There is one more. It's getting real close to the same problem. That's where you put the box covered in on the Selma Lomore Road, the one close to where the railroad crossing is, the back way into West Vaco. Betty, you're yes. okay. Put the box covered. Yeah. Sink I was on. across that today. All right, it's sinking on both ends. Before the asphalt plant closes for the winter, it might put a little skim across that hole, too. It's probably due to, since the bridge is restricted coming the other way, there's way more trucks going that way now because all the quarry trucks have to go through there. So that might have something to do with it. But same problem, it's just sunk a little bit on both the ends of the box. <coughs> Thank you.